rated local weather app from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Joe Bird. Lots of cold temperatures on the way for tonight. Kind of the price you pay for the winter time when you have a cold front and an area of high pressure. Yes, it makes the days beautiful, but boy, does it make those nights chilly. And uh, already, all locations, as you see here on our tower camera network, are below freezing. Evansville, downtown and the east side at 28 degrees, and Henderson and Owensboro. Coming in there at 29 degrees, so uh, it is chilly and it's going to be getting even colder as we go throughout the night. The Blue Bridge dancing lights, as you see here from our Kincaid camera on top of the uh, Hampton Inn down there in Smothers Park. Oh, we've got a couple cars down at the VFW this evening, looks like, down there. And uh, no folks out and about, though, getting a walk on, and I advise to not do that because it is definitely chilly. 29 degrees, as I mentioned to you, Owens Road, with a clear sky. As for the weather bars, they're all in the green this evening as there's no kind of winter weather event on the way, nothing like that that's going to make uh, for any kind of rain, sleet, snow, freezing rain, nothing like that. But check it out, 23 degrees at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Let's see what it says going to happen here about 5. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's okay. We'll skip it. It's going to be the upper teens, I can tell you that. About Probably about 20 for the low, 19, 20 in Owensboro. In uh, Evansville, it's 28 degrees with a northerly wind there at 6 miles per hour, and there is no one at or above the freezing mark. The only exception would be more just outside the tri-state in Morgantown, almost at the freezing mark, but even then, it's below. Mid-20s right now in Fairfield and in Carmi, Princeton, upper 20s for much of western Kentucky. But again, we have quite a bit of dropping to do still with uh, lows around 20 degrees. Here's the wind chill. It takes a three mile per hour or more wind to make a wind chill. Check this out. It feels like 17 degrees right now in Carmel. It feels like 22 Evansville, 22 in Henderson, 24 in Owensboro. So, yes, the wind chills tonight will be around 10 to 15 degrees. If you're going to be out for whatever reason, uh, bundle up and don't stay outside, uh, outside long by any means. Dangerously cold out there tonight. Live first warning Doppler radar. Nothing to show you. Storm tracker. Watch my timestamp. It is moving over the past about five hours, but there is just nothing to see. Area of high pressures in the Midwest right now. It's going to continue to slide over our area tomorrow. However, I think we're going to see a few high clouds move in throughout the afternoon and then clouds really increasing later in the day tomorrow. So here we are, future tracker showing no clouds across our region as we get into tomorrow morning. Uh, still seeing a good deal of sunshine in the morning. Maybe in our far northern county, some high clouds moving in. As we get in the afternoon, a few of those high clouds move into the Evansville area. We're going to stay dry. There's no rain with these clouds. They're just moving into our region ahead of the next weather maker. By tomorrow evening, later in the evening, a little extra cloud coverage. And then by about this time tomorrow night, we're going to go over to a mostly cloudy sky. Here's where the situation changes. We have an event heading our way, probably in the Evansville area by about 5 o'clock in the morning. And we have temperatures below freezing. Well, maybe a little wintry mix, even some freezing rain is possible. But it does not look like it's going to cause any big issues with this. Now, of course, there will be some slick spots, I'm sure, here and there, especially on the bridges and such. But overall, this is not going to be a big ice making event. So I'd say give it till if you're going to be out and about and you want to do it so safely, I'd say maybe about nine to 10 o'clock. Let that be the case because then that's when the rain will change back over to just a cold rain as we get things a little bit above the freezing mark. Otherwise, our Sunday has scattered showers, more confined down to western Kentucky. Chances everywhere, but better chances south of the Ohio River. That works its way for kind of sort of, if you will, out of here by Sunday night, but it does not last long. An area of low pressure heads our way late Sunday night into Monday. So your morning drive, whether it's to school, to the doctor's office, to work, whatever it may be, it is going to be a washout on Monday morning. So my advice to you this weekend, probably more so tomorrow, if you need a new pair of wipers, get that done now because there's going to be a lot of rain on Monday morning, heavy at times. And look at this. Here's the afternoon. Still really coming down with a lot of rain on Monday. So this is just a rain event. We're going to have temperatures well above the freezing mark by Monday afternoon. So no concerns there for any kind of winter weather. Just a lot of rain. Probably about an inch, if not a little bit more in Evansville. Down to our south, especially the Western Kentucky Parkway, probably closer to two inches of rain by the time that all comes to an end. Just clear and frigid 
tonight with overnight lows down into the upper teens to the lower 20s. And yes, we'll start the day with some sunshine tomorrow. The high clouds move in. Low 40s there, mid 40s on Sunday. And again, that could be a little bit of ice mix freezing rain that will transition to just a cold rain with highs there in the mid 40s. Lots of rain on Monday, but just a rain. Look at that. Highs getting close for some folks near 60 on Monday. So no concerns for winter weather there. Our next chance for rain comes Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That could be a little of a mix. Now, there's still several days between now and then, but that could be our next winter weather event. Brandon. Brandon, right. sorry.